What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Guys, it's good to be back in the saddle again. Got a cool one for you. We're going to go to a photo from Saul 2813. And when you see the photo, you're going to understand why I went after it. And guys, don't forget to take out your magnifiers. You will need them. If you're going to use the zoom on your phone, tablet, or computer, good idea. And don't forget, if you've got the little small jeweler's eyepiece, use that as well. Whatever it takes to zoom into these, right? And guys, again, don't forget to pause it and have a close look, right? All right, let's get into this. Check this out, guys. Two things right off the bat. One, we got a grid pattern. Two, completely washed out, at least for details and dock areas and so on and so forth. What I want you guys to do is take note of this right off the bat. In the background, I'm going to try to zoom in just a little bit, but the grid pattern is going to really make this fall apart. Right here at the top, you can see where I'm going to circle with my cursor, a little magnifier on here. Right here, there appears to be like two like square arches in the side of this hill right here. Like this hill is facing off to the right. You can see one and then two. What I also want you to take note of is because this thing is so washed out, why do we see some detail in this hill over here to the left of it, right? Also important, right there on the very left is some more detail right there. But wait till you see these things, guys. This is crazy. Just the stuff that comes out of here is absolutely insane. Now, when you look at this photo, you go, eh, I don't really see anything going on there, man. It looks uh, looks like just wispy hills. What you can see is the rover here in the, uh, in the foreground. What I find funny about this, we don't even know if this is superimposed in here. In other words, this could be so much further out. And they're just making it look like it's just simple sand dudes right there. As always, guys, you be the judge. You guys get the last word, right? All right, so let's jump into this. I've got two photos. One, I've got it of the regular photo of this. And then we're going to go into full enhancement mode. All right, let's jump into that. Here it is right here. Now, let me zoom into this because I want you guys to see this. <laughs> you can just see the grid pattern right off the bat. It's crazy, right? Um, right here. And it's hard to see right now. I get it. Right here. You can see the area I've been talking about. It looks very faint, but you can see it going like this. And it appears to be another one on the other side. You'll see that better. And it appears to also have some kind of weird framework or something around or something on the top of it. You'll see what I mean. It's pretty interesting. And again, with all of this craziness, just this washed out garbage, look in the back here. Again, you can see some kind of darkness where it has some detail where they hadn't washed it out. Right here, you can see where the wash line is. And then there's a lot of detailed pieces here. And wait till you see the one over here. This one's crazy up here. You're going to see that. That's pretty interesting. And this item as well. All right. Let's get into that. So we're already going to have this partially enhanced for you guys right here. Now, again, pause this where you want and look at the smallest details that you're going to find in here. For instance, right here. This right here. Again, you guys can pause this right now before I even get into this. These items right here. And this item right here. This is interesting, this piece right here. It looks like something's falling down. And it has what looks like this small conical shape, a cone shape right there. And all the little details on this. Okay? You're also going to want to take note of this. They're very faint right here. Right in this area. And it's not the only area, guys. There's so much more scattered throughout this photo all of these what look like dunes are not dunes at all. They're not little wispy little hilly areas or wispy sand dunes. Call them what you will. They are not that at all. Here on the right hand side. All these little pieces. Let's get into this a little bit more. Okay. Now, again, pause it where you like. Have a look at this. Look at all of the pieces in here. I'm going to do these with white arrows so you'll be able to see them either way, right? This area right here where this mountain looks like right there, okay? This was all completely taken out. You can see this right here. But notice how this little hillside or whatever it is goes like this and has a nice smooth face to it and it slopes down in the very top of it or right edge if you will. See that? Right there. Look at the smooth top to this right there where they didn't actually mess with that. But notice the pieces 
in this photo. Check this out. Look at this stuff right here. Left-hand side, right there. Notice on the side of this hill, they completely washed this out, fudged it out, blurred it out, call it what you will. Little items inside this blurred out area. I was able to bring out some of the stuff in here. You can't make out what it is, but clearly this is not natural. And all these, <laughs> guys, look at the pieces in here. This is insane, absolutely insane. You can see them right there. Get into that a little bit more. This item right here, check this thing out. Very upper left. Look at the little pieces and details in this. Now, as I've said, go down to all of these little areas down in the bottom. Okay. Everything on the top here. I'm going to put these little arrows. Check this stuff out, guys. Again, if they make it all washed out, you don't see the lines. You don't see shadowing. You see none of that. All you see is this. That's all you see. Again, grid pattern and washed out. Take out the lines, take out the details, and you're none the wiser. Okay? Again, pause it where you like. All these pieces, just look at these straight areas and look at the pieces inside them. It makes you wonder if this is true size. Again, let me back out. Again, rover parts in the lower left. If this is real size, in other words, you could literally just walk right over to these and just have a look. You could probably pick them up with your hands. If they're not very far away, you can see that. Okay? If this is real, meaning actual size to the rover, then these things are very, very small. Makes you wonder, are they structures? Are they mechanical parts just strewn all over the place and mixed in to make look like, um, like it's just ground or, you know, whatever. Again, these pieces right here, I'm just going to circle these lower ones right there. Check these out. The smallest little details in this little oval circle here in this circle. Okay. Pieces sticking out like this here. All right. Go up to the next one. Again, I'm looking at this right here. This in no way, no how does that look natural. This item right here was just insane. Because look at the way that thing's designed, man. It's got a design to it. All these little pieces inside here. Okay. Now, some of this has been mixed up so much, meaning they literally washed it out so they can make everything join so it looks like one big flowing area when clearly it is not. So what you're going to find is little pieces inside this or in between, rather, this manipulation over here to the right, lower right. Look at these items right here. I don't know what this stuff is, guys. Again, we're trying to figure out the size of these objects, and the size can fool you. Again, if I was to superimpose this rover into this, this could be a very large area, right? This could be very large, and we wouldn't know it. I can superimpose that thing all day long. Let me see something here. This almost looks like it's slightly transparent. I could be wrong, though, because of the grid pattern fooling the eyes, right? But let's say it was superimposed. This area is much larger than it appears. These could very well be structures, parts, stuff laying all over the place. Let's go to the full enhancement. Okay. Now, the reason why I brought this really dark, because you really want to see these lines, you want to see what's really in here. Now, the background, the stuff that was already dark, it's going to be hard to see those. What I was trying to convey is this area right here. Now you can see these lines a little bit better and the smaller things that were in the whited areas. I want you to see those now. And some of the stuff, again, it's just kind of like thrown together. So, again, to hide the individuality of these objects that are on the ground. Just these objects in here, in this circle on the left, clearly that doesn't look natural. And look at the way they're together. Like something is constructed there. This right here. Not sure what to even make of that. Okay. All these little pieces inside. And we can still see this other piece here, by the way. Top left. 
and you can see what looks like white objects inside this blurred out area. Look at the way they just like, put lines in there just to throw you off so you don't know what this stuff is. Got something sticking out right here. 90 degree angle here. Like I said, this looks like some kind of cannon type thing sticking out. These items all in here. Look at the actual pieces all in this area. Okay. This alone, and this is in the photo, guys. You don't even have to do anything. Well, you do because it's really kind of faint. But you can see it in there. Well, again, when I look at this photo, I can see it right here. No, let's back out just a little bit because it is fooling you. I'm going to just go ahead and do that. That area right there, it is so faint, but it is actually there. Look at this other piece coming straight down like this here. See that? Okay. And again, that piece is right there. But look at these objects, guys. What is going on here? And again, I find this interesting kind of way it slopes down. But again, we can see this purposely blurred out. These objects right here. We can see what looks like little pieces down in the bottom here. Right here. Other piece right here on the right. Just, the guys, it's just stuff all over this, man. It's all over this photo. What this stuff is, I don't know. Our deserts here. If we've seen something like that in our deserts, would that be natural? We all know the answer to that. There's no way. You guys be the judge. Tell me what you think. I'm just going to move over here a little bit at, at a time. Guys, pause it any way you like. Go ahead and make this a little brighter so you guys can see the background a little more. These objects in the back, I find this one here on the very left, up, upper left, very interesting. It looks like something like a building had just come down and crashed down. I'm not saying that's what it is, but look at the way. It almost looks like a like a squared structure, but very tall, right? And the stuff right here in the middle, all up in here in the middle, there's something hidden inside here. You can see it right there. It's white. These parts laying all over here, especially this piece up here. All of this is something inside this blur. This is some kind of machine structures or something. I don't know what it is, but here we go, guys. What is going on? Again, guys, you be the judge. What are we seeing here? When I first seen this photo started to enhance it, I went, wow. So how big are these things? And what are they? So, again, if the rover part of it is superimposed, that could be gigantic. And we would have no clue. If it is the actual size to the rover, then these things are very small. Again, the question arises, what is it? Is it little structures for little people? Is it... Machines, maybe it was some kind of factory or some kind of machine area that did some purpose, uh, mining or something, uh, something for below ground. We don't know. We're speculating. That's all we can do here. But again, I've said this before. One question. What is it? Second question. Is it natural or is intelligently made? Third question. If it's intelligently made, why is it on Mars? Guys, like, share, and please throw your comments down below. Always appreciate it. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. There's some crazy ones coming up. I've been uh, going into the emails, and you guys have been suggesting some really awesome stuff. So kudos to everyone there. Like I said, we're back. We're going to be rocking this for you guys. We've got more Mars and Moon. Stay tuned. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciate it. Stay safe. Peace.